Sorry I'm a bit late, but I needed to fill up this this glass here with as much ice tea as it can fit. Because it is brutally hot here today. I think it's like 37 degrees or something. And so yeah, I just need some some kind of uh, refresher. But nonetheless, I will try to play at least a little bit of StarCraft today. Original plan was to do that yesterday. But I had a friend over, and uh, as things go, when, when you have such things going on, it just took longer than I thought. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I had a magnificent time with my friend. But yeah, just not enough time left to stream yesterday. And even today it's a bit tight because I only have like about two hours before I need to make dinner. But in these two hours I have nothing else going on, so I thought, why not try to make up for the lost time yesterday and play a little bit of StarCraft, even if it's just a single mission, and it might as well be a single mission. Maybe I can make two missions in two hours, and we'll see. But yeah, didn't want to leave the weekend without a single stream, so here we are. Playing, or continuing the protest campaign of the Brood War expansion. Which we got started last time. So Ayur has fallen completely to the Zerg. It's gone, but thankfully the Dark Templar actually took us in on their homeworld of Shakuras. So through, through a portal we managed to evacuate and uh, set up a base there. And now we learned that we need to find some, some kind of crystals to uh, take down... I think it was to take on the Overmind yet again, but, but we will just take a look at the briefing and see what goes on. That's what the crystals were for. So that's what the crystals were for. Not to take on the Overmind, but to power the temple so we can reach the curse of the Zerg. And so, like, large parts of the campaign will be that MacGuffin hunt, if I recall correctly. But first, let's go for a straightforward thing and destroy some Zerg Cerebrids. Yes. Remember, young Templar. Cerebrids can be killed only by Dark Templar. Okay, we have some Dark Templar, that's good. My brethren will make sure the work of any 
Get some probes going. Do some scouting while that's working. This is like a kind of weird setup. Boxed in between all those pylons. I don't really like that. They're fast. Our sensors show that the two cerebrates are surrounded by spore colonies. We will deploy our corsairs to compensate for their defenses. Or I will just do a ground assault and never mind. Do I get to control them or is this like a cinematic to work? Yeah, they've got that. Ah, nice. You wanna take it down? Okay, not good, not good, not good. Building infiltrated. Hey Lucas. How is it? Okay, uh oh, right. mustn't forget my base. Must not forget my base. Let's build another three probes for the uh assimilator. Okay, this is quite expensive, so once they're powered up I can clear the rest here. Until then, I am stuck with these guys. Let's get an assimilator going. I already have the Templar archives, that's nice. Need another pylon. Let's put it down like... Hmm. Yeah, here should be good. Maybe another pylon. Like down here. Oh wait, they can't come from here anyway. Ah, oh, never mind. But good there, and I have a, a nice bottleneck that I can use, that's convenient. They can only come from here. Get to work. Okay, you should be ready to fight again, yeah. What's a D? Oh, they both used it, okay. So you can't just select a group and then use the skill multiple times because they will all use it simultaneously. It's good to know. Oh! So they do come from down there after all. Good to know. Luckily I do have the Dark Templar. But that pylon is a gunner. Come on, kill them. So, some anti-air defenses down here will not hurt. Okay, I've got gas production going. Could more than more Dark Templar. Might be worthwhile. And I've got an expansion cleared, that's good. Didn't even notice that earlier. But so much of the map is already discovered and I still don't know where the where the um, cerebrates even are. Looks like this is, yeah. So maybe no Zerg coming from here after all. I've actually got a pretty good position. Nice. Uh, I need a, f oh, I don't even have a forge. Uh, good. Good, good, good. I mean, not good, but good to know. They are pretty good anti-air units. Don't deal much damage per shot, but they shoot very fast. So maybe I can use them to hold off their assaults. I'll just park them here. Hey, Angel. How are you doing? Cybernetic score should... Made that's all the all the ground buildings I need so far. Do I already go for the expansion? I don't have the troops to defend both point both points at the moment, so maybe I shouldn't. Oh, 
I could start like putting down a pylon here or something. So I can't. So I can create another defensive belt here and essentially seal them off. Uh, right. But uh, dragoon range, that's going to be important. Speaking of, maybe it's just more dragoons plain. I think I'll just warp in the nexus. Here. What's built is built. But I will have to perform an air assault myself. Yeah, this might get tricky. Also depends strongly on what kind of stuff is available to me. Probably no carriers yet. That would make it quite easy. Very good. Yeah, ground weapons will be important. Also, my vision would be good. Can I? I think I can build observers already. So maybe I should go for that. Doesn't build too many photon cannons because at some point it just becomes a waste. I essentially just want to like fend off any overlords that they send in. I know there's a second one up here. Ah. Ah. Can this hold? We're going to use the cannon. Yep, cannon lost. But they lost an overlord. So all is well in the world. I can't even build here, okay. Maybe place it here. Start building a second set of probes. Upgrade complete. Oh, I got, I got, I got the range. Excellent. Let us attack. And pretty soon I can start second mining operations over here. Which I will need because my expenses are quite high at the moment. Yeah, I think I'll use these guys for scouting. They aren't really performing much right now. Holy hell. That's a lot of spore colonies. Let's see who wins. Two Corsairs or single Mutalist. Yeah, the damage is quite low. Okay, it seems to work. It scares them off. It doesn't it doesn't even need to destroy them, it just really needs to make sure that they turn around. I will just sacrifice these guys. Yep, just a sec. Okay, done. Nice. Uh Wait, I've only got six dragoons? I could have sworn it was more. Let's build some more dragoons. Okay, that's the Zelnaga Temple. There's Cerebid 1. So somewhere here should be Cerebid 2. One guys run faster, just a little bit faster. I'll just keep you here. Upgrade complete. Better ground weapons, please. Alright, you go mining. And give me another three for more Vespine. Okay, the cordon is. 
increasing. What else can I do in the meantime? Build me an assimilator. I will definitely do Stargate. If I will invest into air upgrades. Probably not. Unless I get carriers. Then I will. What I will build, I think, though, is an additional gateway. Nice. Let's see. Citadel of a Dune. Why not? Maybe I will have some need of... Uh, of um, zealots later on. Yeah, this needs like a few more cannons, and then it'll then it'll be good. They do exploit any gaps you leave. They are clever. There we go. So what can I build? Scouts and. All right, shuttles are built from the robotics bay, of course. Of course. Uh, there it is. There's the worker that I want. Me too. Me too, my friend. Yeah, scouts. Nah, not worth it. If I can land here... That would be quite good, because here the defense is pretty light. I'm very close to one of their main buildings. And one of their cerebids. And with enough shuttles, I should be able to just speed past. So I think that's what I will go for. Just a quick infiltration. Uh, yeah, faster zealot movement, sure. Let's fill up that Dragoon team. Let's see, what else do I need? Shuttles. Robotics Bay. I need a Robotics Bay. I might also need another Forge just so I can pump those upgrades quicker because this is actually going quite slow and I don't like that. Excellent. It's a robotics facility. Almost complete. What do I need the fleet beacon for? For the scout upgrades, probably? I'm not going for scout. Scout suck. I mean, they are strong in one-on-one, -on -one, but they're just too expensive for what they do and take too long to build. Ah, they can... Ah, almost. They almost had it before. They could release a single... A single one of them. Let's go for shields. Probably a complete waste of money to build all these cannons, but I just like that. Okay, last ground weapons upgrades. And I've got a pretty good income so far, so... Shuttles... Reavers. Uh, Reavers could be quite good. Support bay that could be quite useful. So I can get upgrades for the Reavers and I think the shuttles as well. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Let's start building some shuttles in any case, just so that I have them already. But this shouldn't take too much of a force. 
But when the scouts flew over this, they didn't seem to have many troops actually. Just a few mutalisks and maybe some hydralisks and zerglings. So I think one squad of dragoons plus maybe some dark templar and or zealots should be more than enough to handle that. Okay, support bay. I think an observatory I don't need. Not really. Can I research any stuff here for Dark Templar? Templar ability, Templar ability. Doesn't look like it. Scarab damage, more scarabs. So I can't upgrade the shuttles, okay. I think I'll go for Zealots just because they're a bit cheaper in the dark. I mean, 125 and 100 gas. That's like almost twice as expensive as a, as a Zealot. I will need a lot of shuttles though to ferry all that stuff across. Oh, I'm broke. Okay. okay maybe I should build more. Nah, not worth it. This is almost mined anyway. My life for ire. My life for ire. How many will I need? I can transport four zealots per shuttle. So I will need three shuttles to get all the zealots across, plus six shuttles for the dragoons. Plus. Maybe another two shuttles for um, two shuttles for dragoons and not dragoons Rebus. because I can only fit two Rebus into one shuttle. So that three plus six plus two, eleven shuttles. Okay, almost a full squad basically of shuttles for just for that one army. Mm, bit of a force there. Bit of a force. But let's just keep building. I wonder how many resources they have. I mean, they also only have these two resource spots. Armor. Just for fun. They don't go for the eastern side anymore, it seems. Okay, four more zealots. Actually coming, good. So that's also almost done. And I've got five. So almost half of the shuttles. There's number six. Going good. More scarabs. Yep, let's get that. Is it maybe easier to go from the north? Let's see, there are three colonies here. Another two colonies here. And I'd have to fly over their recruitment place, so probably a lot of units there. Whereas here I only have to deal with two colonies and that's it. Yeah, the southern entrance is the way to go. It seems that they are slowly like building up forces just because they can't get them across anymore. Two more shuttles. All right, I forgot about the Dark Templar, ah, <laughs> which I need for uh, the Cerebids, but I can still kill them after I've cleared the entire base, so no rush there. 
Uh, maybe another robotics facility will be quite useful. Uh, there it is. Just so I can build a few reavers parallel to the shuttles, otherwise this will take forever. If I had tanks, I could just, like, shoot across. <laughs> but I don't have tanks. Because Protoss have no idea how to properly siege. Okay, this is actually eight. Then just three more. Let's place the order already. <laughs> I don't love it. That's probably not what they imagined when they landed here. And there goes another few hundred minerals, probably. Upgrade complete. Perfect, Upgrade we've got complete. that. And, ah, uh, shields is expensive, but this is the last one. It's the last one, it will be worth it. Also, to improve my efficiency, let's pull some of these off. Because having 12 probes mine two fields, I don't know what the maximum is per field. But after a certain point, it just it's just a waste. Upgrade complete. Armor, huh? almost. Come on, there we go. Okay, we got the robotics facility. 200 for another Riva. We we'll also need a few more pylons. I mean, the the mission basically wants me to use the uh, the the corsairs to disable the the spore colonies, but why bother when I can just bypass them completely? I wonder if that was intentional that they left this kind of gap here. It probably is. Blizzard doesn't make that many mistakes in their games. Okay, Reba. Ah, they are finally sending in some Utilisks. And double Overlords. That one almost had a... Oh, it actually dropped off one. A single creature. Not bad. 22 damage per strike is pretty crazy. They scale damn well with two per upgrade. Mm, Alright, another Reaver. I think two Reavers should probably be enough. Let's see, there's one deep colony here, another two here, one here. Once I'm through this point, I have almost perfect access to this, so... Got all the shuttles. There we go. Anything else I need? I think not. Upgrades are underway anyway. Alright, you need to build some scarabs, that's true. Because without scarabs, there's no reason to build you in the first place. Well, there still has a sizable amount of gas. And it's gone. By the way, you also built some scarabs. And you guys get to work. Was 10 the maximum they can have? Yep, 10. This is a pretty easy mission. In a way, it's even easier than the one before, I think. Because in the mission before, the enemy still had ground access to you. 
they didn't have to use they didn't have to use overlords to get to you. Okay, these guys are ready. So let's make a safe. That's all my zealots. That's all my dragoons. And I still have two of these left. Plus one extra, which just like can serve as bait or whatever. All right, our assault force is ready. Only thing missing is ground armor, but hey, I think I think I can manage without ground armor number three. And this looks like it's made for cinematic, maybe. Go a bit further south. Hug, hug the edge as, as much as you can. All right. Ready, set, go. Maybe I will lose a single shuttle. Not even that. Clever, they have some buried units here. Not bad. Okay, apparently still missing some dragoons. But why can't I unload them? You're done, you're done. Don't don't rush in too much. Don't rush in too much. We need to do some organizing over here. Who still has stuff? No one. No one has anything loaded. Okay, let's replace the cannon here. Yeah, in a way, it's like Protoss D-Day, essentially. Go there. I need to move the, my, my, my... Took me out of the way a bit. I want you to destroy that thing there. Because once the deep colony is gone, I can... Relatively... What are you doing? Ah... You know what? Just fuck it. Okay, salt. Just go. Just go in. I don't. I don't care anymore. Just kill. Yes, this is not going as well as I had hoped. But pathfinding is just being a pain. Go. The main building is gone. Uh, 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 deep colony. Careful, careful, careful. You just hold position here. You just hold. And you take care of their buildings. Don't, don't bother shooting at the Cerebin. Can't kill it anyway. No, no, not the temple. Not the temple. There we go. Okay, this is just fodder now. This needs to go. Get closer. Just 
Take care of the Zerglings and stuff, please. Uh, do I lose? Do I lose the Reaver? No, I don't. Keep building Scarabs. And that is again. I do like the sound of, of the Reaver. It's a very satisfying, chunky... Patoom! And there it goes. So, the base is essentially broken. What are you doing? You fools. I thought you had, like, siege range. But... I think this is the last sunken colony they have. So no matter. Just to make sure though. Let's do some scouting. So much empty space there's bound to be a, like at least some some buried zerglings here or something. Nothing. Okay, fine. Then just go crazy. And you guys also go crazy. This is cleared out. Perfect. I still have all these shuttles. Just so I can ferry these two guys across. Maybe in the meantime let's just make it four so I can kill the Cerebus a bit faster. I wonder, like... I mean, they do get revived. But... But... Uh, it must still be hellishly unpleasant, though. Getting killed and revived and killed and revived and killed and revived. Also, also... Who actually revives them? Because in StarCraft 1 it was basically stated that... That the Overmind revived them. But the Overmind is... <laughs> the Overmind is gone. So, I think that might be a little plot hole that Blizzard oversaw. Oh, look how fast they are to build. Let's, then let's build two more. I might be mistaken, but I think they stated that that the Overmind, like, used dark energies to uh, to conjure them back to life or something. Okay, let's get some shuttles. How many will I need? Let's take three. They only 49 damage per strike. But yeah, I still have like 4,000 in the bank and still some resources left, so even if that assault had like completely failed somehow, I could have easily mounted at least one more. Presuming that I had lost all my units, all of them, all the shuttles, all the dragoons. Good killing. Stiefelkreis, as we say in German. That's not going to help. Who is this? Ooh. Look at that. Well done, mighty Protoss. I'm glad to see that you all are as violent as ever. Kerrigan. What mockery is this? Relax, warriors. Despite what you may think, this is laughable. <laughs> Do you truly expect us to believe that your intentions here are honorable? That these Zerg here are not under your sway? Look, the Cerebrates you've killed were my enemies as well. If 
Why would anyone let you explain anything? Don't do it, don't do it, don't be so stupid. Ah. Ah. I guess Russia girl knows better. But an easygoing mission. Pleasant enough. Good kill loss ratio. I didn't remember this mission, but then again, it wasn't that memorable, to be honest. But still, not, not a bad mission. Just nothing special. Ah, it's off to Braxis, okay. New scenery. Now then, Kerrigan. Perhaps you had best explain yourself. What is this news you've come to give? There is a new overmind growing on chart. Impossible. Why should we believe anything you have? Good point, Saratul. Good point. Oh, now she's a mindful murderer now. Whatever warp control it once had over me is gone. I know that this is a lot to take in all at once, but you've got to believe me. There's no hey, loads. She is infested to How are you? I, for one, will not listen to any of this. Silence, indicator. Continue, Kerrigan. Apparently, many of the <laughs> these just logged off. Oh, I wish we had a fun thunderstorm. And the others still have control over most of the broods. The two Cerebrates you killed here were part of Dagon's forces. Look, I don't need to tell you all what might happen if that thing reaches maturity. I can guarantee you that should it awaken, it'll take full control of me, just like it did before. I don't want that to happen, and I'm pretty sure you don't want it to happen either. Even if what you say is true, our priority is... Save this world, not assault the new overmind. We must find the crystals of Urash and Kalis before we are all vanquished. Then I'll help you with your search. If you can defeat the renegade Zerg gathered here, it'll weaken the efforts of Dagath and his ilk. My children, you must put aside your fears and your zeals to accomplish what must be done. For the time being, Kerrigan will assist you in your inheritance. Though she has been your enemy, it is enough that we share the same agenda now. Allow her time enough to prove herself to you, and you may find her to be a valued ally. For now, you must focus on the task at hand. Search for the Urosh on the planet Braxis, and let nothing stop you from recovering... There is actually more to all of this than it appears at the moment. You cannot expect us to forgive Kerrigan's crimes against our race. Executor, prepare our forces. We shall debark for the planet Braxis before the next moon rise. But all of that will be explained in due time. But I would love a thunderstorm, Loons, because here we've actually reached the summer so far. Record temperatures of like 37 degrees. Yesterday was also already hot, like just going to the grocery store had me in sweats like I had just climbed a mountain or something. Well, I am melting. <laughs> I wouldn't melt, I, I am. And they don't make it out. Got some... Some reverse, which is good. However, I'm not sure if I can or should build more scarabs. Oh, look at that, she's done my control. Yeah, I, I hate to eat myself. Oh, I got some extra money. Okay, that's good. So let's start setting up. I think tomorrow it will cool down a little bit. I think, according to the weather report at least, like... 
like the middle of next week is when it's going to cool down a little bit more. Yes. But it's still some way off. Kerrigan can actually take care of this. Going by her animation, I'm still not sure whether she's supposed to strike with the things on her back or with like her claws on her fingers, but well, that's like, what's the difference? Okay, what else can I build? I can build pylons, so let's build some pylons here for defense. I can build an assimilator, so let's build an assimilator. Can put another pile on here. Uh, what's disconcerting is that each summer it will just get worse because climate change. Yes. So whatever shitty summer day I have today, next year it will be me even more awful. Maybe some nuclear winter wouldn't hurt. Of course, it's completely fabricated. Everyone knows that. And we'll need another pylon, actually. So, so no stargates, so no air units. But to be honest, like it feels like large parts of the Protoss air roster suck anyway. So that's not the big loss. I prefer to, unless it's carriers. I love carriers, but. Uh, like all the other other air units, I don't really like that much. Pro esports players will probably oh crap, there's another entrance here. Pro esports players will probably go like no, but like the arbiter is the best unit and it's probably really good. But eh, I'm I'm not skillful enough for stuff like that. I just like build up a huge army and smash them in, into the enemy until I win. That's like my strategy. I would have made a fine World War One general, chaps. Good work. Over the top, man. Just one more charge, and Jerry will surely bite at this time. In my 50 years, I've watched heat records broken every few years. I've never experienced 40 of them in my in the last year. <laughs> well, I didn't send you to your death willingly, like. Not willingly. Maybe like accidentally once or twice, but not by choice. Okay, how many probes have I? Okay, two more, then I have that full mining squad. Then three more for the simulator, and I need some buildings. Mm. And I do hope that at some point we will actually be able to finish the campaign. But yeah, with how difficult it is to find to find a date and like with half the crew already having finished the game and as such having no further interest to play, it's going to be tricky, but I will not give up. We will manage it somehow. Okay, there's the Vespian crew. I don't like this position, it's so cramped. I mean, I've got the, like, the, 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 the top side of the hill, which is convenient. But I've got two entrances to cover, and I don't have much space. What else do I need? A forge, of course, I need a forge. Let's get a forge. How has your weekend been, other than thunderstorms and heat? Don't give me enough minerals. I mean, give me enough minerals, but don't give me not enough minerals. There. Do I bother with zealots? I do quite like dragoons. They have shitty pathfinding, but they are very, very useful units. Um, <laughs> cybernetics arts, 200. Now I have. Ah, uh, you had a gig. Nice. How many? How many people did you have? Uh, 
as visitors or guests or is it viewers listeners whatever whatever you call it let's do some scouting 200 I'd say that's good do we need more pylons anywhere Let's build one more here. Uh, cybernetics core is on the way. Oh damn, oh damn. Carrigan, Carrigan. Not good. Not good. Maybe I need to build some scarabs. Smash him! Okay, I can build more dragoons at least. Let's do that. Not too bad for audiences and we tend to keep them in. I hate to be braggy, but we... Well, if... I wouldn't call that braggy. At least not yet. I mean, you're not like, Oh, we are! Oh, we are the best band in the world and Metallica has nothing on us and blah blah blah. Uh, what did I say? Scouting! I need to do some scouting. But for that I need the robotics facility and the observatory and a whole bunch of other stuff. And I'm just actually kind of broke. Yes. I just hope they don't come through here. That would suck. How many places cards that all people stuff have any right to say they're amazing? That's a point, I think. It's not a bad point even, but don't don't underplay your your qualities. I mean even a cover a cover also probably has like a personal a more personal touch than just like playing the notes. That some other road. Like it's still, it's still like, uh, in a way, it's still like your interpretation, isn't it? Not, is it not? Mm. Okay, this is being warped, and I could build the observatory here. Still have a dune that I need right now. So even if you're like like not like super original if you want to call it that, you still have you still have to have the craftsmanship to to play it well. Okay, I can build shuttles, but I can't build stargates, interesting. Let's get the observatory. And craftsmanship is also something like, what is it now? for example, I have ideas, like, as, as a kid I used to draw a lot, and I still have ideas, but I don't have the skill at all, so, uh, I like the craftsmanship. Should maybe start also upgrading my stuff here. Uh, ah, damn. Okay, but I can build an observer. I'm actually even thinking that maybe I should look for like I, uh, surely there's like a a class somewhere in town like learn how to draw or something. There's there's bound to be uh, something like that in a town with almost three hundred thousand inhabitants. Uh, I will probably lurk because I will have to cook some dinner, but I will be there and lurk. Okay, I finally got. Some force that I can actually fend off stuff. And I've got an observer. <laughs> Do I need another gateway? Let's get another gateway. So, observer side range should be nice. It's unlikely that there's anything here, but just in case there's like some kind of small island or something with an expansion on it. 
I will want that. I just hope that they don't that they don't build tanks. Tanks in siege mode would suck big time for me. I'm not even sure I have like a proper defense against that. Could rush them with the Berser Zealots, not Berserkers. But even that will incur losses. I still wonder who I'm fighting here. Like, is it is it Mengsk? Is it the UED? I don't know. They do have tanks. Oh, damn. Because, like, the ideal approach would be to attack them with air. But I don't have air. So that's a moot point. Oh, and uh, what I also want to say, like, I didn't go to a gig, or I didn't play a gig yesterday myself, but I did go clubbing. Until 5 o'clock in the morning. It was a very, very fun night. Okay, some bunkers. Not in Chinese, just like... Uh, black cargo shorts, black t-shirt, sneakers, ouchie, ouchie, and uh, okay, they're building up a force here, and I had my, my portable headphones around my neck because I had no other way to carry them. Oh, they're actually doing siege to me, yeah? And they are smart enough to use uh, their scanner. Ah, oh, they use it twice. Those fuckheads. Up there, Kerrigan. Shithead. So this I will need to deal with via Arenas. Digipad. Nice, we both had fun at each of our individual nights. That's good. Oh, I need Templar Archives. Um, Templar Archives. I need the set of Lavadoon after all, okay. Let's put that here. What do they have here? Some minerals, but not too many. Upgrade complete. Can I squeeze the support bay in? Yeah, I can. Uh, oh, you lost power. Well, still I would take... I would take thunder, lightning and rain over like the 37 degrees and sunshine. Where the hell are you going? So moronic sometimes. Okay, Templar Archives can go somewhere here. Okay, research here. Faster shuttle? No. No. I will need a few more dragoons. <laughs> Nice shot. Nice. Mm. The tank has the advantage on me, however, because it has more range. And they can spot me fairly easily, but still... I might be... Huh? Maybe I can lure them in, that would work. Now they're just wasting all their scarabs on enemies that don't need it. Hey, Constant! Or Sin, or whatever you want to be called. 
How are you doing? And thanks for the follow. Uh, where was I? Alright, ground weapons. Let's move in the runes. Or let's watch them try and use the bloody ramp. The, yeah, those scarabs have some weird path signing issues of their own. No. Oh. Great. Huh? And I lost one Reva. Indeed, it's one of the best real-time strategy games ever made. Not that I'm any good at it, but I do like it. Start clearing that. Send in the reinforcements there. This is all working. Why don't you use your superior range? I know you have it. Enjoy your tea, and I'll see you later. Thanks for dropping in. Ah, oh, I love dragoons. That's just like good against everything, it feels like. But perfect against everything, but there's no threat that they can't deal with. Okay. Expansion cleared. Now I just need to secure it. And maybe not crash my observer into their air defenses. So where do they come from? Probably through here. So let's park it here. You guys hold position. Did they kill one of them? Anyway, you start building me. My next base. Um, yeah, shields upgrades. Maybe another observer just so I can cover more ground. Come on, hit the bunker. Hit it. Hit hit the bunker. There we go. <laughs> it never ceases being fun. So I hope you don't expect any too good gameplay here, constant, because I can't provide that. I'm a very casual player. They do have a very high range on their tanks, even without the siege mode. So maybe I can even push in here. I don't know what awaits me there, but a single bunker is no match for a dozen dragoons. Ground weapons, that's good. Another observer. It's actually pretty, quite interesting um, terrain. Like lots of li little crevasses or canyons or whatever. That bunker could be... Maybe actually some zealots wouldn't hurt. But if I go for Zealots, I will need the movement upgrade. Okay, you spy here. You are. You always need it. So how much, like, StarCraft experience do you have, Constant? Should be able to spy on this area a little bit. They just have some 
missile turrets, that's not too bad. And lots of open ground here. Yep, I suspected a base, a small base in this area. But nothing major, I can easily clear this. And this looks like their main base then. Uh, can I do anything else? I could build more reavers maybe, but... Right now they're just wasting their efforts against my Dragoon squad. Well, these, these are relatively fast to build. So one more from each. Oh, I completely forgot about this. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. See, I'm not that good. I, I forget about my expansion. They are bringing in some reinforcements, but I can always spot what they bring. So that's not too bad. Why aren't you working? I don't have the gas. Not enough gas. Given like how they trickle in troops, it might even be worthwhile to just place some photon cannons like either here or here. And uh, free up my dragoons that way. I'm not sure about using Kerrigan, she is very powerful, but they have detectors everywhere. And she's not that super tanky that she can just take an entire base's worth of punishment. Okay, I've got my zealots. Well, also pretty decently upgraded actually so far. Can't complain there. We can also just use the Reaver here against the Ah, let's just let's just rush them in. If I lose a zealot or something, then so be it. I don't even lose a zealot. Okay, last shield upgrade. Okay, you can easily destroy this. But... Oh, well, they are using it, okay. That Goliath wasn't there the last time. But this seems to provoke some counter-attack, yeah. Yep, they're sending stuff. Oh! No, 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 uh, where's my builder bot? There. Hide! Okay, that sucked. So I might have to invest into some defenses after all. So let's build some here. Curious how far I can push it. I mean, this is mostly missile turrets. There's like a few bunkers here and there. Oh, there's probably tanks just waiting. What did I say? But looks like there's... this could be like a good side entrance, maybe. Oh, there's a ghost. There's a 
another ghost. They probably keep them handy so they can use lockdown against like a shuttle assault or something. Still, I've cleared a decent amount of stuff. For this little small attack. Let's just keep pushing. Keep researching. And keep building stuff. This looks surprisingly superb, actually. I'm in their economy already. I do have a tank there, but... If I retreat all the way here... And they don't. Will, they will get whittled down sooner or later because they keep bringing in more reinforcements. But I found a good way in, so let's just replace them. Okay, I think I'm there, that's good to know. So, this is a good. Good entry. Right. Still too many missile charts to just bring in more observers. So that doesn't work. Bit of a waste, probably, but eh, no matter. No matter. Gas production is going well. There's not another expansion here, though. I could claim this, but by the time I claim this, the mission is pretty much over anyway. I think I'll move in my dragoons. Let's see what they can do. So this is dangerous, but I've got to watch out for that. So let's not go east, let's go south first. more from each. Sneak past. We direct their command center, definitely. Ah, uh, with that extra range, they're just so good. a good position actually because I'm covered by the wall here so they can only come from that one direction and I have a pretty wild field uh, wild yeah wide field of fire of course I am turned and blocked by the geyser so I can't uh, assault the command center directly Move them in here quick. So to avoid the tank there. And then I can just destroy everything in the vicinity. That's good. 
That looks excellent. I mean, they probably have another command center over here somewhere, but... Well... What you gonna do? What I am going to do is put in another observer, that's what I'm going to do. Barracks is gone. Oh, they, they deployed their tank from up there. That's good. I don't need to deal with their siege shit. And those bunkers also seem to be empty. Makes stuff even easier now. Okay, assault. Those buckets are also empty. This is just too easy! Keep going. Just keep attacking. So that's where... Oh, they even have double, double starport, okay. Uh... That observer I probably don't need anymore. I think this is pretty much settled. They do have, apparently, some facilities up there. Or they wouldn't keep shipping in more troops from there. Yep, yeah, there's at least a barracks or something. What I need to do exactly? Arbor and Kerrigan to the crystal, okay. Maybe it's worthwhile to build a shuttle just to speed that up. Maybe it's worthwhile to give the shuttle extra movement to speed that up further. Maybe it's worthwhile to destroy all the missile turrets here so the shuttle doesn't get shot down. And now it's assault. Oh, wait, they are not all unemployed. I don't like that. Get to work. Oh, they even have a factory, okay. But the enemy main base is dealt with. I do have the shuttle, where's Kerrigan, there's Kerrigan. I could already end it here and just fly her in, but I want to destroy this as well. Ah, uh, what a nice little single file. Textbook. I'm mostly just curious what they have. It's not like this is a threat I just want to see. Yep, actually a complete base. Still desperately producing something. Oh no, a marine! What am I going to do? Damn, those shuttles are fast with the upgrades. Wait. Wait. No, 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 no. You don't get to build another base here.
I want that gone. She's actually doing full damage. Almost full damage. Against the... Come on, Carrigan, you can do it. Come on. Hunt him down. Thanks. And mission end in three, two, one. Though I do like how they like have those little mineral clusters spread around just to fit in thematically with the with the crystal that I do catch. Okay now over that. Let's let's finish it. Wait, go to that thing. What's going on? Just Just go to the circle. Crystals here. Okay. Send in a probe to gather it up and our work here is done. You have done well, Kerrigan. There's more to you than it seems. Perhaps I have misjudged. Don't trust her. And it's a victory. Okay, it was the Dominion that we fought. Lead got an Omega Squadron. Nice. Not a bad mission. Did I just fight the Battle of Brexit? <sighs> Sensors have just identified a large group of Terran vessels. However, their configuration profile is unlike any Terran group yet encountered. We are receiving a transmission from the fleet's command ship, identifying itself as the Alexander. Robots, Commander. I am Admiral Alexei Stukov of the United Earth Directorate. We are here to take control of the Terran Dominion and all of its outlying colonies. You are in direct violation of Terran space and have Zeratul. You almost sound as if you fear these humans. You should. What are they to such as we? Was it not we who defeated the dreaded Overmind? Yes, Artanis, we did vanquish the Overmind. But we did so with the help of humans. Do not be so quick to underestimate them. Of course. Executor, I shall test the mettle of these humans. By scouting ahead of your ships and finding a way through this blockade. In Toro Tassadar. So a new enemy appears. A new challenger appears. Yes, exactly. And we got a Tarnus which is basically a super scout. 20 damage. And 56 with the anti-meta missiles. That's crazy. As we will find out later in the in the Terran campaign. There's a lot of missile turrets. Um, the assault on Braxis is actually also part of their mission. So it seems like the Protoss campaign and the Terran campaign are actually, at least in part, uh, like running at the same time. This seems to be made for a ground assault. So I think what the game wants is for us to send our troops up there and deploy here because all these other spots are quite heavily defended okay but we will need to do a lot of saves on this one because we don't have production facilities what we have is what we're stuck with. And I just don't know what to expect. 
At least we seem to have lots of upgrades already, which is useful. Okay, no way through here, even with the shuttles, that's just suicide. Not so happy about this bunker, to be honest. It's a range of bunkers. Hmm. Ah, crap. There goes my observer. Let's just let's just look really quick. Ah, ah, okay, that's actually quite good. Can take that down with the dragoons. Hadn't thought of that, to be honest. My mistake. Takes a little while longer because their attacks have a chance to miss when you attack on higher ground or you attack an enemy who is on higher ground but it means i can also clear this of course of course i should have noticed so maybe i can bypass these bunkers i could maybe land some troops here actually I guess it would be worthwhile to check out what's up here. Where are my shuttles? That's a lot of turrets, but... This spot should be out of range of these turrets, so if I land the zealots there... And hopefully, perfect. They can clear this entire defense belt quite quickly, I might add. I probably need the dragoons here just for these. But that's no problem at all. Okay, and from here I can also destroy this, at least in part. I mean, all these missions are like a puzzle, you just have to figure out what piece to use where and when. It is sometimes a lot of trial and error, but... Shuttles. I think I will put the shuttles on four. Oh, they can actually hit it from up here. Nice. I wonder if, like, the turrets power down when... Like, if they're, like, connected to a generator and then power down when it's destroyed. That would make my job much easier. Looks like ooh. Executor, with the power generator nice. destroyed, the missile turrets on this platform are no longer operational. However, we will need reinforcements to finish the job. Reinforcements are en route. Yeah, can I bring in reinforcements now? Oh. Oh, Dark Templar even. Oh, that's going to be fun. Like for example, the Dark Templar can just destroy this completely. They've got no detectors here. Uh, I guess you're a squad five. Let's put them up there. Okay, four more to go. Uh, very, very strong. When are they also upgraded? The Terran units. 
No. Nope. Completely vanilla. I think this is worth a save. Got some good progress already. Damn it. It's not good. So no way through here. But there is something here. Let's see. Yep, there is a way. Yes. Where did that thing come from? Where's my... Where's my air squad? Kill it. <laughs> would be like a cool research to have them deploy faster. That would be quite useful. Quite powerful in multiplayer probably as well. Better save, I mean. Knowing that they have tanks, I'm just a bit worried what I might run, run into. It looks like I can bypass quite a lot of defense here. Okay, they have wraiths, so that's not good. So this entire I can't destroy this entire line, it's just too long. But Hey goat! Indeed. One leaves, one shows up. It's better than Thunderdome. Two men enter, one man leaves. That would be quite unpleasant for all involved. <laughs> Look at that, what are many missile turrets with there? Okay, there's another one. Okay, so just like performing a landing here is completely out of the question. No way I can squeeze in, even with a dozen shuttles. So I guess that this approach is for now out of the question. So we need to find another way. Maybe over here. Where is the observer for the side? There it is. How are you doing, Goat? Yep, more turrets. Who would have thought? Ouch, ouch, ouch. Yeah, I guess bypassing. Everyone has rain but me. All I have is 37 degrees outside. I mean, by now it might be a bit less because it's evening, but... You know... It still blows. Maybe the, the Dragoon... Maybe the Dragoons can just clear these. And make room for the Observer. So long as they don't have tanks, like, backed up there. Uh, I'm good. I'm just tired because I was actually out clubbing until 5. So I didn't get much sleep. And the heat just kills me, but... If you discount these two things, then I'm actually, actually perfectly fine. I will just play this mission, and then I will... Head to the kitchen and make myself some dinner. There we go. Uh, in case you're wondering, just like baked fish again. And I was thinking some rice. Plus uh, bell pepper and maybe some ananas. And just like pour some soy sauce over that or something. 
Something simple. Ouch. There goes the observer. Let's just get that back. So these two I can destroy with the Dark Templar, definitely. This one... Probably not because it's in detection range of the turrets. But it's my best bet, I think. Yeah, that's also a thing that... I'm the same. When it's hot, I just eat less anyway. But I don't like ending, like, the week, ending the Sunday without, like, a decent meal. So, fish and rice it is. I will just destroy these as well, just so I can have an easier time navigating around. I actually lost a lot of weight between yesterday evening and this morning. Like when I uh, took a look at my weight on Friday morning, I was like, um, I mean, it's not a secret, I am a bit overweight. I was like 102. Then, after the pizza on Friday and going to an Indian restaurant with a buddy yesterday, I was like uh, 103.5. And then, after a night of clubbing, I was like 101.5. So I somehow lost 2 kilograms <laughs> overnight. But I don't mind. I try to lose weight anyway, so that's perfectly fine. The night out was very, very good. Like that, that particular event, it's like a semi-regular event, it's like a few times a year. Quite often it's kind of medium, because the DJ tends to play the same stuff all the time. But yesterday he also experimented a bit, got some new songs, got some good songs. And I really got into the groove after a while. I actually, like when I dance, I... I still am kind of restrained, like I just do a, a safe, like, side step, side step, and I don't move my arms around, like, they're just at my sides. But yesterday I really got into it and just grooved around and flailed around like a complete idiot, but who cares. Now the question is, how do I get through that? Maybe actually with raw force. That might be in range of the turrets. <laughs> yes, executor. I think I was a bit more adventurous than a regular dude. For hire. You just have to somehow get out of your head that people are watching and judging you for how silly you look. Because when you get... In, in truth, nobody cares what you look like. Yeah, I think I can just power through here. Retrieve that one. Okay, so you didn't take any health damage, so that's fine. These are all almost dead, that's fine. They should be able to tank any shots that they get, so let's just charge in. That's true, it, it, it shouldn't matter, but you know how people are. Other people's opinions do matter, even if they, it shouldn't. Because we are social animals and... You can't just completely disregard what other people think. Pizza are like a-holes, everyone has one, yeah. <laughs> In a perfect world, it wouldn't matter, but as I said, it, it does. Though it does less than many people think, so that's the, that's the point, I think. So I'm hoping that if I destroy these... I can shuttle in some troops here, yeah, though they do have another turret there. But... Maybe Mr. Observer can find out what's... What's the game here? Just a bunker? Mm-hmm. So 
Just a bunker. This platform is basically built for landing on it. I think the, dra the dragoons don't have the range to shoot from over there. But the bunker I can maybe clear out with them. Let's see, where is my shuttle? Where is my shuttle force? There's an observer. That's an observer. There. So what have you been up to all this weekend? You just turn out you got a Pac-Man game. Like for, for what system? Okay, so you deploy over here. With the... Oh, damn. I think with the turrets I can't force an assault with, the, with my flying units. So I'll have to do it like this somehow. For Expo. <laughs> I've never really gotten into Pac-Man. Or Tetris and all the all these arcade games from back then. I'm just not much of a like a high score player, I think. Let's see if we can take this down from here. The damage I deal isn't bad. The damage they deal isn't bad either, though. Pull out, pull out, pull out. Okay, we got that. Your religion. I think the thing is that I started like. When you take a look at video game chronology, chronology, I started late later. Like I started with the NES, and so the games that I began with, they were already a bit more sophisticated than stuff like Tetris. So I think Tetris is just a bit too simple for me in a way. It's not supposed to sound arrogant. It's just like what I what I've interpreted right now. I think I can do two dragoons, maybe even three. Yes. Ten years, yeah, yeah. Then I think then I can see it. Like if I grew up in that time and day, I probably would be a huge Tetris fan myself. Reinforcements are en route now. That's less defense is taken out than I was hoping. But I do get extra stuff, so hey. Yeah, the game's noon sometimes plays. <laughs> I just don't understand. <laughs> like that that one thing with that with that monster in the kitchen or what it was. It was just like eh, whatever. But uh, more power to him if if that's what he enjoys. Okay, you're my squad one. Bunkers, but they are without spotters, so I can take them out with the Templar. And six Dragoons is already a pretty sizable force. So let's see. Did I miss any shuttles? Yeah, that one. Just got four, five. Let's clear out this and then see what's up here. I think this will be my next target, I imagine. Or this one. Come on, load. I'm waiting too. Uh, 
far can I push my observers? Well, this far. Hey, zombie! Well, thanks for dropping in. I will only finish this mission, so maybe another 20 minutes or so, I don't know. Because then I need to make dinner, but you're welcome to Lurg. Always nice to have you. Not good. Did lose one of them. Yeah, they have the turrets up there. Maybe I should try that again. Ah, crap, I should save more. Oh, I hate that pathfinding. Fuck off. Let's do this manually. That's better. That's better. Okay. There we go. Pick up these guys. And let's create like a landing zone here. And then nice, maybe take pot shots at them after all. I don't want to be rid of them. They're not a threat, but they are annoying. Looks like I can't. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, nice. Hit them, hit them! Your squad one. Your squad two. Your squad four. Save. Important. And let's move in this guy. Actually, not that much standing between me and that one, but they have that tank. I think there was another tank somewhere here. Focus on these bunkers, I will figure out how to deal with the siege tanks later. Maybe zealots? Zealots are fast and fairly strong, so maybe if I just rush them through, they can take them down. Or. They've had exposed. Maybe the scouts. It was actually a lot of fun. I played it in co-op with my buddy Lucas, and I, I'm not sure it isn't single player, but in co-op it was quite good. I was rather tired towards the end, so that took out some of it, but it's, it's definitely worthwhile. There's also a lot of variation to it, as we saw later. Like, like, a lot of decisions actually have can have quite a substantial effect. Yeah, this is cleared. There's still that one. But I think with sheer raw power I will also be able to punish that. Artanis, you've got the best shields. Just destroy that, please. There we go. You can play it alone. 
But I'm gonna lean out of the, out of the window and say that it's probably build for multiplayer. So be it. Very well. Not sure how the single player would work. So be it. Uh, pick up your race. I've got the superior air force here, if I can lure them in. Never mind. There goes all his shields. I mean, like, half the fun is uh, you not really knowing what the other guy is up to while you're making decisions and just running around. Not enough to let it burn down. Let's go for another strike. There we go. Okay. <laughs> How do I get up there? Ah, okay. Can destroy this. Destroy this all quite easily. This might be tricky with the turrets. But I can probably figure something out. This just circles around with this one. Hmm. 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 Very well. Not sure how to get into that. There's bunkers here, and they've got lots of spotting, so I can't sneak in the Dark Templar. In the end, it's like a frontal soul that I have to perform, but. I think I will try and go for this one first. This seems like it has more room for me to maneuver around. I'm waiting. What are you doing? Where's my observer? Oh, you played the, the Mass Recall thing. Say hi to Dunes for me. I'll probably go come over and lurk in a little bit. I was thinking that I might play more mods myself because I'm not mod much of a mod man. I do prefer to play just like the normal games the way they're meant to be played, as I like to say. And mods were always like a bit of a hmm, I'm not sure thing. But I did see some really cool stuff for, for strategy games, so maybe I just need to do that. I don't like this bunk, I don't like this line of turrets. Yes. But... Uh, where's my... There they are. Let's clear out this first and maybe, I mean, eight zealots and six dragoons should be able to do some damage here, right? Or maybe I can even like kind of kite the the bunker from the ridge here proper placement they can shoot this retreat when they get too damaged come back shoot again and when it's destroyed then it's easy pickings and one more bunker shouldn't be a challenge so maybe that's how i will play this I have most of the map uncovered already, so... Yep. Not a problem. So I can even destroy some of the spotting here. Perfect. Okay, is that a time? So they have no tanks there or something. Is the mass recall mod actually like does it have all the missions? 
Is it is it completely finished or is it still under development? I think I will take the dragoons with me. Because they do have a tank. Shit. That's yeah, going to cost me a little bit. Yep, that's nasty. Hmm. Nasty and tricky. I can't sneak on the Templar with all the turrets. And there's not really, not really any gap that I can exploit. I have to figure something out. See if I destroy this. Let's destroy this and see if I can sneak the observer in. Not far. Eh. 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 No, 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 stand out of the range. Hang hang back. If I just rush it. Mm. One more zealot for a tank, I think that's a fair price. Okay. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. And I will get reinforcements soon once I destroy this thing anyway. Good to know. They've got mines. And the Guinness World Record to most defensive buildings placed on a single map goes to... Protoss mission f five five. I long for combat. State your will. Well, his shields up by now, so. But they don't seem to have anything else. It's really just turrets and and the mines. Uh, where is it there? It's still amazing how strong the zealots are sometimes. Look at that, they're just ripping the thing apart. Mines, mines, mines. And a ghost. That ghost will suck because it will probably just lock down my flyers when I try to bring them in. So let's see. Let's bring in the Air Force. Because I've got no other way to clear this minefield than them. Ah, stop. Stop with the bloody good lions. Okay. That's enough. This needs to go. Yeah. I hate lockdown. It's one of the worst bloody skills in the game. How do I deal with that? Direct my wrath. Consider it done. Maybe we can sneak some dragoons like close enough. Direct my wrath. That might work. Oh, you didn't. You weren't there when I played like the last Terran mission in the vanilla campaign. That was pure lockdown spam. That was awful. Like I, I brought in a full squad of cruisers and they locked them all down, all of them. Like they, uh, I take the white base and like they locked down half the squad. And I thought like, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I've still got enough cruisers to protect them while they're locked down. And then I dropped in like another squad of ghosts from the other end of the map that I brought in by a shuttle and locked down the other half of my squad. And then I just like had 
how much money is that? What did that cost? Like 400 minerals per? So like thousands, thousands of resources and they just yes, vanished. Okay, at least, at least that works. So maybe I can kill him now. How cheap is lockdown? Apparently it doesn't cost that much. But at least he's safe. So let's try the Dragoon plan. Where are they? There they are. Uh, shuttle, shuttle force, shuttle force. 100 mana, 2 per ghost. But there was a third. There was a third lockdown coming from somewhere and I don't see any ghost here. Because I locked down two of the scouts. Well, I will try to find a different solution anyway. No, I actually don't. If I had, it would be much easier. I don't even have minerals, so even if I had reavers, I couldn't replenish them. Ah, look at that, it's actually much easier than I thought. Wait, there's someone didn't deploy. They've got enough range to just take the mines down, okay. Okay. Nice. Don't get too close. Okay, they have a tank. I'll we'll just take him down. There we go. Mm. Am I happy? I'm not happy with that lost Dragoon. Wait. Ah, crap, that was the... That wasn't the landing zone, that was the deploy zone. Uh, not the deploy zone, the liftoff zone. Yeah, was it like a 50% chance to miss or something, right? Or was it even like 53%? It was like 51? Okay. It wasn't, it wasn't even numbered, it was like something weird. Can I like inch them closer so they can shoot at the ghost? Well, kinda. Okay, Artana's got him. Good. Artana's got him, that's fine. Speaking of Artana's... Well, there's no more lockdown threat. Before I turn I think I want to... No, 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 avoid the tank, avoid the tank. I am ready. Cause you got some cool quotes when you, like, when you anger him. Yes, Executor. I am ready. Explain this odd behavior. Stop poking me. Ah, there it is, the classic, stop poking me. What do I look like, an orc? <laughs> this is not Warcraft in space. It's much more sophisticated. I know it's not 3D. It still looks good though. State your will. And if I'm not mistaken, then StarCraft 1 actually runs on the same engine as Warcraft 2, which just buff baffles me if it's true. Because if it really is the same engine, they really squeezed out every single drop they could. Because this feels like a completely different thing. But I might be mistaken, I think it's just something I read somewhere once. It's, it's, it's one of these things that Angel would know. Angel probably knows. Hmm. There's no way to assault this properly. They've got the air covered, they've got the ground covered. 
Like ideally I would somehow take down the missile turrets and then sneak in the, um, the Dark Templar to destroy the tanks or something like that. But I can't take down the turrets while the tank is still there, so it's like, it, it just keeps going in circles. Run. No! Fuck. <laughs> I don't remember how I beat this mission back in the day. If there's like a special trick, I don't know. There's obviously another ghost, and there's obviously another ghost, and there's probably another ghost like somewhere up here. If I had a high Templar, I could like cast Psionic Storm or something. <laughs> Maybe I need to destroy this first, after all. And then I get reinforcements which enable me to deal with this, and then I get reinforcements which enable me to deal with this. Because I get to, I'm supposed to get through this, I have no idea yet. This has no weak points. Let's see, there's lots of air defense and there's a few rays. There's also like these bunkers here. No more tanks, though, so maybe... No! So maybe... I need to clear this with Dragoons. They can also manage the race that might show up. Quite well, actually. Quite the bunker. Can you shoot all that way? That's too far. It would be cool if I could actually see the range or, or had any proper indicators other than experience. I can't get through there. Is Artan is like your favorite character, zombie? Wait, this looks like a weak spot. I do like raves. They are they suck at ground combat, and there's better units you can build against air. But I still like them. I like the design, like with the with the uh, the two wings to the side and the like one wing or whatever to to the bottom. It's, it's a very unique design, I find. Need a, I need an observer. Uh, you. But they are, they are not really, like, cost-efficient in what they do, that's true. This looks actually like the perfect opportunity for my Top Gun squad here. I actually don't like Alaric that much. I mean, he's funny, but... Well, it's not less that I don't like Alaric as much as I don't like the Taldarim that much. Like, he has to suffer my dislike for them, basically. Oh, come on. Stupid floating around. But Alarak himself, if you like isolate him from the faction, then Alarak is pretty cool. Okay, what do I get? 
reinforcements are en route now, young. Not that much, actually. There they are, and Templar. Okay, okay. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Wait, what? What? How? Don't tell me that while I was busy clearing this, they were like. They walked all the way here, and here, and here, and I'm there, and over there, and down there, and then through here, and up here, and here, just to destroy this one turn. Guys. State your will. For Consider it done. Okay, I've got Reavers and I've got, I've got Cernic Storms. For I've also got... Two groups of these, so I could. Uh, no, I can't. I can't morph archons. I can't. Hmm. Hmm. Hallucinations. Maybe that's the key. I distract the tanks with hallucinations and then smash the rest with Sonic Storms, and then this platform should be. should. should be. quite clear, I think. That's true, he is voiced by John Delancey. And he does amazing voice work. As I said, like, Alarak isolated from the Taldarim is is good. I just didn't like the whole... Uh, you know, they were just religious fanatics in StarCraft 2, Wings of Liberty. Which wasn't much to go on, to be honest, sure, but... Like, then in Legacy of the Void, like, oh, they are black and red and they have lots of spikes and... I mean, they are essentially Sith Lords, and that just felt like so bleh. They couldn't f think of anything better than Sith Lords. Okay, how does the hallucination work? Like, does it copy the, the stats of the unit that it... Seems so. So I need to hallucinate something better. What's the toughest unit I have? 8100, 8100. My toughest unit is probably Artanus. But Artanus doesn't distract the tanks. So that's worthless. Um, zealots, maybe? A bunch of zealots? Just to get close enough to put down one storm here and here, and that's it. That's it. So, L and T. I also like that they're actually like a different unit. Okay, let's go and distract. Come on, guys. You can do it. Okay, I lost, I lost one, but I think that's fine. I hope. Chaotic, but ah, ah, <laughs> that hurts. That hurts. Seventy-five per storm. But if I pull that off one more time. <sighs> Then that should work. Okay. Two of these. And then Sonic Storm here. Got them. Nice. Nice. 
Okay. There they are. There they are. You as well. Stop, 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 stop. Come on, nice. I'm getting hungry, so I kinda want to finish this mission. This is like Command and Conquer levels of trickery that I have to pull off here. And again, they didn't unload all of them. Are you missing space? I cannot just unload them. What does what is wrong with you? What the hell? Okay, okay, okay. Now I am unstoppable. Let's destroy this. Destroy this. We got some Goliaths there, but they're easy to dealt with. See? Oh, don't get distracted, there's a ghost there, just waiting for you to enter vision. No, 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 focus, focus. Oh god, this is, this is like taking care of toddlers. You can't even walk properly, just stand there. Stand there. And don't do anything else. Like that. Yes. That's true. I actually didn't save much in the newer ones. Also resources. I found that in StarCraft 1 resources are much more of a bottleneck. There we go. <laughs> oh god, all these... Look at that! What the hell? I mean, in StarCraft 2, once you had, like, at least one expansion, you had so much money, uh, you, you were set for the rest of the mission. In StarCraft 1, you have to continuously keep going and keep going for more and more and more resources, because everything just costs so much in, in relation, it feels like... I've got some bigger squad. Hmm. A completely empty platform without defenses over there. I wonder what's up there. Uh, how about Mr. Observer? How about Mr. Observer goes and finds out? And of course, like in StarCraft 1, enemy attacks are telegraphed, but. It's still defended, but it is still compared to this. This is nothing. So it's a, it's a landing zone. That means that I just need to get all these people over there. Which part of I want to select all shuttles on the screen? Don't you understand? Okay, that's weird. If I select the cloaked shuttles, it only selects the cloaked shuttles. If I did select this one, it selects all of them. Is this a bug related to the cloaking field? Seems so. Huh. Lizard patch. <laughs> now. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Nice. Okay. So that's how the assault will work. The Corsairs disable the turrets. I land my force and then I... Well, I don't know what's up here. But that's essentially how I'm supposed to pull it off. So let's set up 
a landing zone first, or or uh, like a setup zone. I set up a setup zone. It's, it's, don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. Right, these guys. I completely forgot about these guys. To be honest. One full squad of zealots. Nice. Two Reavers? Didn't I have more Reavers? Could have sworn I had more. Direct my wrath. Maybe I can even do it like a little differently. I concur. Oh, that's a shitty ghost. For hire. Consider it done. Because I don't even need to land ground troops, I can just disable them with the Corsairs and destroy them with my scouts. Where are my Corsairs? Ready for battle. I thought you did my way. Us. Okay, so you disruption web. This one. You disruption web. This one. Zone is cleared. Let's take a look. Oh, they've got wall cars. Which makes sense because the UED did bring them to the sector. Looks like I can avoid this line of terror here altogether. I mean, this I can do with a Reaver, easily. This I can Reaver. I've got... 20 shots. I could also do it like Disruption Wrap, Disruption Wrap, but... What have I got these for? Start your work, my warm thing. I wonder why the Protoss built it that way. Yeah, I don't. I don't. But one more shot and these are gone. Let's go for the middle one. Damn it. Avoid, avoid, avoid. Okay. Avoid! Fuck us. What? Makes you so aggressive. Do you mean unable to? Damn it! Okay, so I need my dragoons. They can definitely attack across the cliff. Zip, zip, zip. Oh, okay, fine. Fine. No! No! Why are they so bloody hot-blooded? Take this one. Take it. Where did I put the observer? Direct my wrath. Let's go. Where did it go? Am I? Am I? Huh? I stand ready. Should it be somewhere here? Ready for battle. Fine, I'll just take you. Could have sworn I had an observer somewhere here. 
direct my wrath. Shuttle scouts. State your will. And I've got a foot in the door, so this mission will be over in a minute. I hope. Well, I bet that there's a cruiser somewhere or something. Oh, who would have thought? It's a battle cruiser. Whoops. Well, it's just one, and I have like this squad. I should be easily able to deal with that. So maybe. Let us attack. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I can just power through. Disable this with the disruption web. Take this down with the scouts, and then I've got a free shot at this, essentially. I think that will work. Let us attack. Let us attack. At last, direct my wrath. For hire. Indeed. Yeah. That damage output is crazy. Thanks to Artanis, in part. Okay, I've got this. Burn. Burn. <laughs> they can't get up the stairs. <laughs> and I do love that machine gun effect. It's so nice. Yes, Executor. Finally. What a gauntlet. What a gauntlet. Huh, Epsilon Squadron? Ah right, they had the they had the power plants, the generators, that's why. So I'm just gonna watch the, the briefing for the next one because I don't remember what the next one is. Character Char. Executor, the Umrash is secured, and the UED has given up the chase. We are currently holding perimeter orbit over the planet Char. Zeratul, have you locked onto the location of the Callus? Yes. I remember sensing his power the last time I was on this world. Sensors indicate a massive fluctuating energy signature at its location. I am, however, unable to identify the signature's source. That should be obvious, gentlemen. The source is the Overmind itself. When the Cerebrates merged together, they must have locked onto the Callus energies and nested near it. It's probable that there will be a number of broods protecting that area. It's risky. But if we can strike hard and fast, we might be able to fight our way through their defenses and escape with the crystal. Comrades, I may have an alternative. Seeing as how the Overmind is still in its infant stages, I wonder if we might be able to disrupt its control over those broods. If we can do enough superficial damage to the creature, it might pacify the Zerg nearest to it, allowing us some time to retrieve the Callus. A bold plan, young Artanis. Your courage rivals that of mighty Tazadar himself. But don't let it get to your head. You too much credit, noble Zeratul. I am not worthy enough to even speak his name. Oh, what a sin. <laughs> yeah. Either of these plans would work, but let's not waste any time. I'll be able to exert limited control over a few of the Zerg here and provide you with some backup. But the longer we stay, the more we risk losing both the crystals again. Agreed. Executor, deploy your forces. May Abdul be with you. I wonder. I mean, we all know that Carrigan is planning to betray them all and is going to end up as the queen bitch of the universe. 
but like so far, just from what we've seen in the in the briefings, and assuming like they are a first time player back in 1999 or what it was. So far you could actually assume that she's being honest and it's just like, oh I don't want to end up under control of the overmind again. So maybe the twist is like actually better prepared than I thought. Because hindsight just like killed the killed it for me. But so far, it's written not so bad. Also interesting is that this is like the first mission I think ever that has two ob two like different objectives that can both fulfill to win. And we do get interesting. Okay, we do get like a Zerg route and a protest base. We start with some observers. That's nice. Oh, they have lurkers. That's nice for them. No gas here, though. She has all the gas. I think this is going to be fun. Having two different factions to control. Back on Char. I'm looking forward to that. But that's going to be... For next week. Because it's hot. And having the computer run... At like... In streaming mode. Doesn't help. And I need to have some dinner, so I will end it here, but I thank you all for being here with me. Even though it was a short one, it was very enjoyable, nice fun missions, and it's always nice to have you guys here with me to keep me company, and I hope to see you all next week. So just enjoy your evening, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.